Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's Tech Tip will be covering a new feature that's available in SOLIDWORKS 2019 that will automatically group mates in your assembly according to their status or if they have been applied to a faster component in the assembly. So let's take a quick look at the assembly we have opened up here and we can see that there's a number of different components that have been mated together to form the structure and in addition to that there are some fasteners in the form of nuts, bolts, screws, washers, and more that have been inserted from the SOLIDWORKS toolbox library. So let's check the list of mates that we have applied so far in this assembly by expanding the mates folder down at the bottom. We can see that there's a large list of different mates, some with a warning, some that are suppressed, and others with an error associated with them. So you can imagine a scenario where you have a very large assembly with a whole number of different mates that have been applied. And if there are certain ones that we need to address, whether they have been suppressed or have an error associated with them, it may be a tiresome process to have to dig through the list manually and identify each one. So in SOLIDWORKS 2019, there is now the ability to either group mates according to their status or whether they've been applied to a fastener. And we can access this at any time by right clicking on the mates folder, going down to group mates, and either selecting by status or separate fasteners. So let's first select by status and see the results. We see that SOLIDWORKS has created a solved mates folder and it lists 99 different mates that are contained within this folder. Let's collapse that. And we can also see that there is an error folder with two errors associated with them. There was a overdefined folder, one for a simple suppressed mate, one for a suppressed mate due to a missing reference, and three mates that are in the inactive fixed mates folder. So any inactive mates that reference fixed components. So you can see how with this ability to categorize all the mates directly in my assembly, I can easily identify the ones that I need to address, such as errors or any missing suppressed entities. In addition to sorting them based on their status, we can also group mates according to whether they are attached to a fastener or not. So let's right click again on the mates folder, select group mates, and now select separate fasteners. We see here that the fasteners folder is contained within the soft mates folder and we see that there's a total of 59 fasteners with a mate associated with them. And there's also one suppressed mate that is within the suppressed folder that is acting on a fastener as well. So you have the ability to use both options at once or choose one or the other. A couple of things to note with these options is that grouping mates does not modify the solve order for the mates and you cannot move mates to different statuses or fastener folders manually as they're inserted automatically by the system. The number of mates will also automatically update accordingly whenever you rebuild the assembly based on whether you added or removed a mate or added or removed an entire component. So you can always rest assured that the grouping of mates will always Stay up to date with the latest information. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.